YouTube, what's going on everybody? We're back again with another video and uh, got a little interesting thing to show you guys today. I know in the background you're probably wondering why in the hell does he have two of the same bikes? I'll get into that on another video. But today I want to talk a little bit about my new bike. Um, well, sort of new. I'll kind of explain that too in a minute. Um, that I have not talked about yet that I have as well. Uh, so I have, well, I had a total of about six mountain bikes, had to make space in the garage, didn't really need all of those bikes. I had a lot of bikes, not only here in Florida, but I had one in North Carolina, my home state as well. Um, I took one back to the store that I never rode. That was the GT Pantera. Never did get a review on that one, but I did return that one. And I sold the Cannondale Catalyst which I really didn't want to do because I love that bike, but I just had too many. So now I'm down to, for myself, um, three bikes. Um, one of them I don't even ride as a road bike, so we're not even going to count that. So I really only have two bikes right now, the Nashiki Colorado and the one that I'm going to show you today, the GT Aggressor Pro. Now I know there's a hundred videos out there of this bike. If you go on YouTube and you just click on or, or type in GT Aggressor Pro, you'll see a lot of videos about it. So um, I'm not going to go in depth about it. You already know what it is. Um, many of you have probably already done the research. It's one of the highest rating bikes on the Dick Sporting Goods website. Um, overall, I've heard great things about it before I bought it. And so I just wanted one for a fun, um, all-around go-to bike uh, when hitting the trail. So um, I'm going to talk a little bit about mine and, and, and kind of what I did. Uh, the first Aggressor Pro that I had was the electric green looking one and I bought a size medium for that um, because I have other bikes in different sizes. I'm six feet tall. I usually ride um, a bike that's a size large but I went down a little bit on that one just because uh, you know when friends of mine come into town I wanted a few bikes that were different sizes in case we all go ride together and that way some of those people who are like in between a certain size could ride the medium. And so um, I actually took that out with my, with my man, uh, Corey. Uh, he came into town and we hit a trail up here um, in Orlando, uh, Snow Hill, and had a great time on the bike. I'm gonna go into a little bit about that story as well, but um, I did need to size up. So I uh, contacted Dix, I asked them could I exchange it for a size large. They did not have another lime green, I mean not lime, electric green one. And so I went with the one that you see in the background, the matte black one, the one that everybody has. And so I didn't mind it because I do like this colorway. Um, so it was fine. But what I decided to do was customize this bike just for the hell of it, just to make it look cool, more so for um, appearance than anything else, not necessarily performance, because I'm not an experienced mountain biker. And uh, I just kind of do, wanted to do one bike that was just a really cool looking bike, kind of like a... Uh, a flashback to the um, to the 80s and the BMX biking and things of that nature. So I had already had plans when I knew I was going to exchange it for this black one, and so um, and so yeah. So that's what I did. So I'm going to talk a little bit about what I did to the bike and um, and, and my plans for the future of it. Um, it is a good riding bike. Now the first thing I'm going to talk about about this bike is if you're wanting or if you're interested in, in getting the GT Aggressor Pro. It is now uh, the middle of April 2019. Um, my Dick's representative told me that um, they're actually getting ready to go back on sale pretty soon for $300. Right now, I think they're on the website for $400. I would not buy this bike more than $300. That's the cheapest I've ever seen them. That's what I paid for mine. And I do not uh, recommend that you spend more than $300 on this bike. And the reason why is because they're just not worth it. If you're going to pay up to four or $500 for a bike, there are other entry-level mountain bikes that I would recommend before you get this one. But if you can get it for 300 then definitely I think it's, it's definitely a good deal. But there's a catch, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that. So, um, where do I start first with this particular bike? So, I'm going to show you, actually, what it looks like when you pretty much get it in stock form. And you can see up here, the only thing that was added to this one was... The seat was changed, and I added the uh, mud guard in the front. Other than that, this thing is pretty much stock. Oh, and I did add a, a kickstand on this one as well. But these are the stock tires, which I'm going to talk about these. Everything else is pretty much stock. 
um, the handlebars, the brakes, the everything. Only thing I added to this bike were the uh, tie twists, the um, kickstand, um, the water bottle cage in the seat, and the mud guard. Other than that, this is a stock GT Aggressor Pro. This is a size small. Now, on the bottom is what I've done to my particular um, GT Aggressor Pro. This is the size large. So, as you can see, I don't know, man. I love this bike, man. It's, it's, it's really pretty cool on all the things I've done to it. I kind of wanted to do it process. I mean, kind of show you guys the process step by step as I've added these things to it. But I decided, no. There's plenty of other videos for that. Um, I did do a video when I cut the handlebar down the size with the tube cutter. Uh, you can check that one out. But other than that, this is this is like honestly, man, one of the coolest ones that I've seen on on YouTube. Um, so first thing I did, and this is what I want to talk about. First off, these are the stock tires that come with the GT Aggressor Pro, and I want everyone to kind of look at this tread. Look how it is. Look at how the um, the actual tire looks, and this is a 27 and a half times. 2.1 size tire all terra now there's a lot of reviews about the aggressor pro gt aggressor pro on youtube and there's a lot of people who want to talk about it's a decent tires they're okay i'm here to tell you no that is not accurate these tires suck and i do not recommend you keep these tires on this bike unless you're just riding it on the street sidewalk or any type of trail that is paved if you're going off-roading and you're basically going on a on a in, in the woods on a trail, any type of loose gravel, loose dirt, dirt, mud, um, anything regarding an actual trail, do not use these tires. I have been on some trails now for a little while, uh, even though I am new, and I fell for the first time twice on this bike when I had the electric green one by using these tires. These things slide around and do not grip worth a damn. Um, and it's actually dangerous. I fell twice. The first time wasn't that bad. The second time I did kind of get hurt a little bit. And I do blame these tires because they just did not grip the, 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 um, the dirt enough for me to keep traction. And so the first thing I did is go with my bike is you got to get the Maxxis Aggressor tires, man. These things are awesome. Like if you just look at it from a distance, you can tell these bad boys are going to grip pretty much anything they come in contact with when it comes to dirt or mud. These sizes are the 27 and a half um, times 2.3. So these are a little bit bigger tires than the stock ones. And you do have to change the inner tubes on those. So they are not, um, I did not put the, uh, I can't even think of the word of it. Um, they're not tubeless, I'm sorry. They do have an inner tube in them, but I did have to take out the stock inner tubes in these to put on these tires. You need a bigger inner tube. So the, the original ones pro probably will not work as these tires are a little bit bigger. I can't remember how much I paid for them. I'm going to put the links of all these products that I talk about on the description. But I highly recommend these tires. I'm actually going to do an experiment. I'm going to contact GT Bikes and I'm going to complain about these stock tires. I have them. I'm going to try to send them back. See if they can refund me or give me any type of money um, regarding the tires. Because I just feel like these are actually a hazard for off-roading or on trails. I'm just going to see what they say. It's not going to hurt the ass. So I'll do a follow-up on that and see what they say. But these are the tires that you need, guys. The Maxxis Aggressors 27.5 times 2.3. These are the ones you need to get. You cannot go wrong with them. Added another little uh, mud guard as well. Um, I, I showed this earlier in the video. This is the Race Face Atlas 35 handlebar. It is aluminum, not carbon. Really cool looking handlebar. I also got the Race Face Atlas 35 uh, stem. This stem is a 65, I believe. It's a little bit shorter than the stock. The stock one, I want to say, is like an 85 or 90. And the Race Face Atlas stem is a 65. So it's a little bit shorter, not much. But I did want it a little bit shorter um, just for the, um, the control and the, you know, as far as being a little bit more nimble, nimble when it comes to the turns and things of that nature. Um, the handlebar is a little bit wider than stock. I think the stock is 700 millimeters. And this one actually is, I think I cut it down to 770. 
it was 800 um, so I think I cut 15 on each side um, so it is a little bit longer um, got to show you these cool um, Troy Lee design uh, neon yellow uh, grips man it's kind of kind of brings out that BMX look on it as well I thought it was a unique match with the actual neon yellow in the colorway of the bike I also got the neon yellow zip ties these little things well I took them off on both bikes the little clips that come on these things um, that all mountain bikes have fall off very easily they they bend easily they chip easily um, it's just better just to take them off and replace them in so I did that with the um, with the neon yellow zip ties um, got the neon yellow water cage as well just for a little bit of an enhancement got the blue um, what do you call this um, memory foam seat cover uh, the cool change um, pouch on the back for storage and I put a kickstand on there but I'm probably going to take it off I just needed it while I was doing a lot of the work to the bike on the on, in the garage um, but I did get that as well and of course the race face Chester blue um, uh, pedals as well can't go wrong with those so that's my upgrades to the bike man and I know it's it's very simple upgrades these really didn't you know take too long to to put on or change or enhance um, I did have some problems with taking off the original grips uh, when I was taking off my handlebar um, but other than that it, it was pretty much smooth sailing all the way around man um, so these are my upgrades to the bike now, with these upgrades, I have not actually rode the bike yet. That's going to come up next, and I'm going to do a video of my first ride on that. But I just wanted to show everybody what I've done to the bike. Now, I do have to give credit when credit is due. Um, I did, when I first realized that I was going to exchange this bike for this colorway, I had pretty much planned to do everything that I've already done to the bike, minus the yellow, neon yellow handlebars. I did get this idea from another YouTuber. Um... Uh, it's MTB, oh man, what is his name? I don't know, I'll shout him out in the description. Um, I know it's MT, MTB, I know it's Mountain Bike or something. I can't think of it offhand. Sorry, dude, but I'm definitely going to give you a shout out in the description because he actually showed me this in his video and he got him. And I was like, oh yeah, that would be a nice little addition to it as well. But I already planned on doing the neon zip ties, the neon water cage, the Maxxis tires, the memory foam and the outlet, all of this already was planned when I when I first saw this bike. Now, as far as the colorway, this blue in the GT colorway is not the exact same blue as all the other blue items that I have on the bike. Um, this is kind of like a Carolina Panthers blue. Uh, I don't even know how to how to. Um, I don't really know how to explain that blue, but it's it's more like a teal than a than an actual blue color so it's you're not going to find anything that's going to match this blue exactly as far as the handlebar or the actual um pedals i've already tried um the chester race pedals you can get them in a turquoise but it's a lot lighter than this blue um but the dark blue actually matches the atlas handlebar perfectly the memory foam seat cover perfectly uh so i just went ahead with that um, if I would have went with the turquoise, then this would have been off, and that would have been off, and then this would have been fairly close, but not exactly. So it's it's going to be hard to match that blue. That's why I did the neon yellow accents with everything, because it's just a it's just a more smoother and better look um, to me. It really brings out the bike a lot. Then with the Maxxis tires, it's actually got the Maxxis logo almost in a neon yellow, a little bit darker, but it's close. So it just looks good on the two all the way around. So yeah. So I'm not going to make this video too long. I, I, I know I kind of probably already went over my time, but I just kind of wanted to show you the upgrades on what I have and what I'm doing. The only thing that I think I'm going to actually do from this point is replace the braking system on this bike at some point, not right now. The bike is a good bike. I had the electric green one. So this isn't my first time with an Aggressor Pro, even though I haven't rode this one yet. Um, I pretty much know the feel. It's very light, very nimble, very quick. And overall, it's a good bike. The thing is, though, is if you're paying $300 for this bike, you're probably going to pay anywhere from $75 to $100 upgrading to these Maxxis tires. I think the cheapest place I found them was on Amazon, and I want to say I paid, uh, 
uh, I want to say almost anywhere from fifty to sixty dollars each. So a hundred, hundred and twenty bucks for the tires. So if you add that to the price of the bike, if you get it for three hundred, that's four twenty plus tax. Now you're coming off, you know, to entry level treks and entry level specialized bikes and things of that nature. But even those bikes don't have these tires on them and things of that nature. But you you have a more you know. Um, popular name bike and, and maybe better component bike than, than the start of this Aggressor Pro. So that's why I say I would not spend more than 300 because you're going to have to upgrade or you will need to upgrade the actual tires immediately if you plan on taking this thing off road. Now the brakes aren't that bad but they're not the best but they will be upgraded later on down the line because they will need some better brakes in my opinion um, as they start to wear down as far as all the brake components, the rotors and all of that as well. So that's about it, man. I'm actually going to go in detail more. Uh, I may do another video about the Atlas handlebar and the stem a little bit later on. Um, but I will put in the description links to all of these pieces. Um, the mud guard, the zip ties, the stem, the handlebar, um, the um, grips, um, the actual um, storage compartment, um, the pedals. The kickstand, all of that. The, the tires, I, I'll do everything for you guys. I'll put it all in the description if you're interested in any of these things. Now, I am going to say, I know a lot of you are probably going to, you may like the way this looks and you may actually make yours the same way. And there's so many out there that already have this colorway. I'm cool with that. If you want to copy my, my design, hey, man, go for it. I think it's just a cool look. But, hey, at least give me a shout out out there if you, if you, uh, if you plan on doing it, man. Because I think I'm the only one that's actually went out and done it. Um, the way that I've done it so far with the yellow and blue colorway that I've seen so far on uh, on YouTube. Oh, also something that I did, which I also recommend, is putting the skateboard grip on the actual shifters. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's actually um, a skateboard um, like skateboard deck grip that I actually you can order on Amazon as well. And this makes shifting a lot easier. It just gives it a little bit of grip instead of sliding because when I sweat. My fingers kind of slide on the shifters, but with that grip on it, it helps a lot. Um, and so, yeah, guys, so that's about it, man. So, hey, just wanted to show you guys the new ride. Again, right now, I know I talk about a lot of bikes in my videos, but right now, I am down to just two mountain bikes. I have the Nashiki Colorado, and I have the Aggressor Pro, and um, that's it. I got rid of all my other bikes. Um, I am going to get one more for my North Carolina uh, riding, um, which I don't know when I'm going to buy yet, uh, but that's upcoming soon. I actually may get another Nashiki Colorado for the for the uh, North Carolina one, but we'll see. Anyway, YouTube, that's about it, man. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the bike. Hey, comment down. Let me know what you guys think below. Subscribe, like the videos. Hey, man, if you can, you know I understand we're all a lot of people are new to doing these mountain bike videos, but let's support one another and. Um, and, you know, subscribe to one another and, and definitely keep this thing going. Be safe out there on the trails. And I uh, hope you guys had a good weekend. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.